Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix Valorant and Windows cannot access the specified device path or file in Valorant. Right, so first of all, what you need to do here, you need to open up, uh, look for right client on your computer, right click on it, um, open file location, and then here go to properties, uh, go to compatibility, and make sure to select these two options disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator and then uh, select, uh, save the changes and you need to look if the problem persists or not and still if the problem persists then you need to open up your disk c then you need to go to write games write client and here it should be write client services and then you just need to open it and uh, then you need to look if it's working for you or not and if it's working, then you can create a shortcut, show more options, uh, create a shortcut, and you can drag it to desktop and then use it from here. And if this is not working, then you need to uh, go to uh, desktop, uh, go to new uh, text document, and then you need to write here uh, Valorant example launch and then you need to open up txt file uh, copy the code here and save as as you can see here uh, all files save it uh, and uh, you need to select bat file and save it here and then on desktop it should appear an icon like this and then you can launch your uh, client uh, with this uh, thing here and as you can see here it's launching for me and if it's not working for you then the last thing that you can do here is to open up task manager then you need to uh, close the task all the tasks uh, related to riot client and uh, valorant and uh, uh, vanguard and then you just need to open up uh, press windows sanaki or just simply write run and hit enter and you will see this window here first you can write percentage sign local app data percentage sign press ok then you need to look for riot uh, games folder and then you need to look for valorant folder and then you need to delete these uh, two uh, folders here and then again uh, after you delete the folders go look for a uh, run thing here and then you need to just try it here program data it's okay and then you need to here look for right client as you can see here right games and valorant folder as well if you don't see valorant folder don't worry just delete right games folder and then you just need to restart your computer try to launch a riot client and look if the problem persists or not and the last thing that you can do here is to open up Valorant, not open up, but look for Valorant, then open file location, uh, right click on it, properties, compatibility, and also select these two options here as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.